and welcome to my channel. So today I've got a diamond painting unboxing for you. Now you might recognise the ribbon or you might not because this is quite a new company still. Uh, it's from Diamond Art Studio UK. Uh, they, as the name suggests, they are a UK based diamond painting seller. They're quite new. They've only been up and running a couple of months, uh, but I am really, really excited for this package. Um, I got it for my birthday. It's a little treat to myself. Uh, basically, it's what their first licensed artwork, so they are a re you know a reputable seller, and uh, they do price themselves at that sort of uh, higher quality range. So we're looking at the same sort of brackets as DIY Moonshop and Diamond Art Club and things like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to see what's in here. So let's get started. I always feel a bit guilty. Um, if you've not seen, I've only had the little samplers. I will put a link up in the corner but I did do the samplers from this company but these these bows are so cute I feel quite guilty about um, <laughs> opening up the bow but I'm gonna uh, now uh, if I sound a bit strange is again it's because I've got the camera up really high this is like a big diamond painting so this is a 60 by 80 which is massive. it's the biggest one I've done uh, so far uh, this is just the diamond art studio little bit of a business card here they are on Facebook uh, they are also on Instagram I will leave a link below to this diamond painting well to diamond art uh, yeah diamond art studios um, their website this painting there and also their Facebook page and their Instagram account I'll try and remember all the things uh, put that over there um, just and just so you know this is I've bought this myself this is not it's not a PR package or anything like that I bought it for my birthday so yeah a little treat to myself so let's get this uh, open right so I'm just gonna speed through that because uh, yeah nobody needs to see me wrestling with the paper that I wrestled for far too long for get rid of that okay so here we go it's unwrapped from the paper and this is in their brand new boxes this these are new I, the last one I had was just their, their um, they had a, just a generic one uh, this is really cool it's got a little bit of a hologram uh, running through it I don't know if the camera picks it up but it does have a, like a hologram on the picture lots of diamonds what else have we got oh there's all their information about this some instructions and that's it so let's get inside right okay before we do I'll just show what's on the edge I can't even because I can't get it under the camera uh, lengthwise so you'll just have to do your best there uh, but this is the picture that's inside uh, so you do get a copy of the picture uh, on the box bottom of the box so if you keep your diamond paintings in the cupboard or something until you're ready to do then you can see what's inside there's the drills oh my god <laughs> This is so big. Right, okay, so that's the box. Oh, we've got a, a little escape drill there, little white one. Go free! Okay. Right, so. <laughs> Look at all that white. Uh, 3865. Uh, it's more than half the packet, so uh, this is going to be crazy. Uh, yeah, it's a very limited palette, as you will see. Uh, let's look at the drills first, because... Let's just look at the drills first, I'm just give that time to relax. Uh, if you're not familiar with how I do my diamond painting videos, uh, I do usually do drills first, but I put chapters into the video. So it, not everybody enjoys looking at drills. So if you want to skip ahead, then just look at that little menu bar along the bottom of the video and it will tell you where to skip ahead to where I'm looking at canvas. In the meantime, let's look at this uh, kit. Now, you can buy their um, diamond paintings without the kits. So it is really good. It's obviously more environmentally friendly. The only reason I got the kit this time is because I was just curious about the boat so last time the boat I had two boats one for each uh, sample and they was warped so yeah so this 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 tray is okay the last two I had were uh, yeah but this one is nice and flat which means we don't have catapulting drills I like those types of trays so that's why I got that as well 
and I do like these types of tweezers as well especially as this is a square yeah it's a square and uh, I'm you might think me a bit of a masochist but I don't use multi placers and for squares I do actually place with tweezers usually so yeah I'll be using those for for the actual diamond painting the entire thing blue pen standard oh this this has gone my wax has gone AWOL it's in two halves oh come on that's obviously not meant to be like that it's just come undone so I do like the blue wax as well uh, it's better than the at least it's better than the cheap pink wax and uh, yeah so that's that you can get your paintings with wax only as well and then just for the record we have a seven placer and a three placer no four placer and then we've got a squishy she needs pur you need purple squishies everything else is purple you need purple squishies right anyway <laughs> So yeah, that's the fairly uh, standard toolkit, apart from the blue wax, which as I say, I really like. So let's look at these bazillion drill drills. Oh, we've got a leak. Look, there's more drills there. That is, let's find out. Hopefully just, oh, what we got? Oh, we've got all sorts of things coming out. This might be bad. Right, that's... So it's not that one, it's not that one. We've got orange drills in here as well, loose. Well, I wasn't planning to take all the bags out, but um, as we have loose drills, I need to find which one. I think it might have been that orange one was slightly, that one clipped twice, close. Well, that one wasn't closed. So I don't see any of the dark drills. That one might have been that one. So we've, I've actually uh, found a few bags here. Oh, it's this one. Okay, so this one, uh, a few of the bags were actually uh, needed pressing close. So when you do open these in future, oh, a lot of static in there. Look at that. <laughs> it's just like, that's static. In that case, that would suit me because it's obviously not going to spill out. But yeah, we do have a drill. Oh, look how many drills. Bit of a drill situation. Bit of a mess. Never mind. We'll work it out. Oh, and we got a sticky. Again, lots of static in there. Look at that. <laughs> uh, right, so let's find. Which of the white bags is leaking? Oh, as if I don't get drills everywhere as it is. I was having a shower this morning. I was like, what's that on my knee? <laughs> it, was a, it was a drill. <laughs> on my knee. Right. Oh, right, and this one's open. This is it. Look. So, yeah, two bags open wide open a couple that i did have to clip shut as well so yeah be very careful with your um bags okay they've got some loose ones in there right so we've got drills everywhere get off okay so as you can see, I do have quite a lot of um, quite a lot of loose drills because there was not one but two bags open. But there you go, it happens. I will sort that out later. On the bright side, you got to see the drills. <laughs> right. So this is the uh, the painting number. So the SP stands for Splatterworks which is the uh, artist. So it's the range is Splatterworks and the artist is Catherine Williams. So you'll need to keep that. Oh, 
that's it. Yeah. So there is no reference on these bags to what painting they belong to. So you do need to keep them in a bag uh, and keep them so they've, you know, if you keep your, if you store your drills separately from your canvases, then you'll need to make sure you keep them referenced as a bag. But we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 13 bags of white get rid of those more road drills i'm sure if if i, I i'm not going to be short but i'm sure if i'm short of drills their customer service is so good at um, diamond art studios that um if i had lost some and i end up at the end with not enough then i'm sure they would supply the difference but doing the samplers I had so many spare drills that I don't think it'd be a problem so yeah that's those 13 bags of white so this is all the background wow what did I really do this in square <laughs> masochist right so that's 13 and now well let's have a look at the drill shall we the quality so ignoring the fact that these bags are really quite um they're not the strongest of um you know the clippy in things they they feel i'll probably uh rebag these even i don't usually kit up usually i just work from the bags but i think oh this one i will kit up but it's really like the diamonds do look the drills look good right there's no dimples on the back anywhere and they all look nice and shiny right so we've got what have we got here so we've got I actually thought they was the same colour, but they're not. These are, well, they're obviously different, but 741, 742, 743, all of the oranges. Again, look at these drills, and they just, they look, oh, isn't that a thing of beauty? Like, they just, I don't see any... I'm not seeing any trash, I'm not seeing any dimples, I'm not seeing any... I mean, I'm sure there are, there's going to be bad drills in there because I think it's impossible to not have bad drills at all, ever. But certainly on a cursory glance, they look, they look lovely. Loving those. What have we got here? Right, so we've got ourselves some nice reds. And 606 and 817, so that's a nice deep red. Not many of those. I think that's all just on the on the. Oh, oh, that one's. No, that one wasn't open. That was just still more rogue, rogue drills. <laughs> Who is this? Good? That's the thing. These drills, they do get everywhere. Right, and that's a nice rusty orange. We have ourselves a nice. Oh, there's another drill. <laughs> Stop. Right, so we've got a really nice peachy colour here. Yeah, I'm loving the quality of these drills. Nice toffee brown. 310. Isn't that a thing of beauty? I mean, there's hardly any 310. 13 bags of white, but we, we've only got that of 310. Uh, yeah. This is going to be so much fun to do. I can't wait. I can't wait to show you the picture. Obviously, I am sure. Oh, that's a nice little mustardy toffee toffee brown um, yeah I cannot wait to do this picture it's gonna take me forever squares in the 60 by 80 it's gonna take forever but it is one of the few things I don't usually do things with my diamond paintings I don't usually look to hang them up or anything I usually just store them in a folder or something but this one this one I fully intend assuming I like it when it's done of course um, this one's going on the wall. Yeah, so that's the drills. Get rid of that. <laughs> right, let's just put all these drills away and then we'll look at the canvas. Right then. So the canvas is obviously huge. Now, what I'm going to do is... This is not going to fit into the camera. I know it's gonna, not going to fit into the camera. I'm not even going to try to make it fit in the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture over here now from the website of what this picture looks like. Um, the nice thing about if you look on Diamond Art Studios as well, 
if you go to the picture that you're looking to buy they do give you they do show you what it looks like the original artwork but they do also show you what it looks like uh you know pixelated as if it's from the pattern so that's a nice touch i really like when um companies do that and but yeah that's just oh <laughs> it's called excited duckling <laughs> which is pretty much how i feel at the moment oh look more drills let's just shake those off right so i just rolled it back so it'll lay a bit flatter but as you can see that is super smooth should we look at the back okay so that's the back it is virtually completely smooth there's a bit of a not a wrinkle exactly but a soft fold there and a soft fold there just where it's been in the box but yeah this is the it is i i rolled it backwards just to get it to lay flat quicker but i'm pretty sure if i just left that that would go flat all by itself uh, now as I mentioned, the artist is called, she's Catherine Williams, and this is from the Splatterworks range, so you can see, you, oh, <laughs> seriously? Um, so this is, what was I saying? Yeah, so the Splatterworks range is obviously, you can tell by, it's just that style. And um, yeah, so I will leave a link to her website below, and Facebook, I know she's on Facebook, I think she might be on uh instagram as well if you want to check out the artist because she sells lots of uh different merchandise she doesn't just sell the pictures i think there's like mugs and tea, tea towel i don't know stuff stuff she's check it out I, I was there for ages looking at all her stuff it's really pretty um but yeah let's turn this the right way i just wanted to do it that way so you could see the whole picture even if it's sideways but this is the canvas i will just put him here so yeah, excited duckling. This is what I'm looking at like now. It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> I'm just like, ah. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the drill field. Ignore me, ignore me. Uh, as you can see, here is the little duck for our duckling little image, 60 by 80, and also the canvas number, which did link up, remember, to that bag of drills. And we do have the Diamond Art Studios logo on their canvas. And we have only 15 colours, so yeah, lots of those oranges and also a billion white drills for the background. As you can see, this is the drill field. So look, it's really clear on the white. Um, just so you know, so we've got the scan up to edge, the, uh, the canvas is quite, it's fairly stiff, but it's not, you know, it's not like cardboard or anything. But uh, yeah, it's not one of those soft ones. But look at this drill film. Can you see that? Oh, I'm having so much trouble because it's so big. Let me just hold it like this. Okay, can you see that? Can you see how the drill field is really clear? All the symbols are clear. We've got a little anchor equals. Yeah, so that's nice. I mean, obviously it's nice and simple because we do only have 15 colors. So it's not having a big fight for uh, symbols. But yeah, nothing is even remotely difficult to read. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. What I, uh, is there anything else I've not said? I'll show you the bottom of the canvas as well. Facebook and Instagram. Oh, and there's the copyright, Catherine Williams. But yeah, the uh, canvas is nice and sticky. It's very staticky at the moment, but um, I have checked the stickiness for what it's worth. I mean, obviously, there could just be a fingerprint over here <laughs> and it wouldn't be sticky. I've had that before on a canvas. Uh, but for the most part, I'm I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, I've made myself a bit of an air bubble there. I'm feeling pretty confident that this canvas is going to be super sticky all over. And uh, isn't it gorgeous? This is my, Christ my Christmas, my birthday present to myself. I'm so happy. And uh, yeah, so that is my new diamond painting from diamond art studio it's again it's by splatterworks Catherine williams and the image is called excited duck no excited duckling get it right and uh yeah obviously i will be doing a post review of this it's a square diamond painting so it's a it's a good test because square drills and white and light colors is a real test because if you're going to see any gapping that's where it's going to be so yeah it doesn't get the bar doesn't get um put any higher than what it's going to be on this one but 
I'm just so excited, but it's going to take me a while. But when I do, there will be a post review at some point in the future. If I've done it, I'll put it up in a corner. Or I will just put a list to my playlist of my diamond paintings. Because obviously I'm an adult colouring channel. But I do have a playlist here for diamond paintings. So if I don't remember to come back and link the post review, then check out that playlist and it will probably be in there. If I've done it, of course. Uh, thank you so much for watching. So cute. Uh, <laughs> if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, then do hit that button. Uh, normally I say hit the little bell and you get a notification of for new videos. Uh, but if you're not interested in adult colouring, that might be a bit annoying. So... Uh, if you're just here for the diamond painting, I suggest turning notifications off and then my videos should still show up in your feed uh, because it'll recognise that you enjoy diamond paintings. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care and see you again soon. Bye for now.